This is ephemer. I will speak about the basic functions of this module. I will show you how simple it is to record an LFO and arrange it to play with it using a voltage keyboard. Ephemer is a dual signal recorder with visualization display. At the bottom of the screen, you can navigate to different menus by pressing the select button. Each menu has only one layer of submenu. There is in deep menu diving in this module. You have two options to monitor your signals, live and playback. If I switch to playback mode, we can't see anything because I haven't recorded anything yet. Let's go back to monitor the input signal. I will use this signal to open Moonface low pass filter. When patching an external signal, the input pot becomes an attenuator. So rotating the pot to the left will invert the signal. And if you put the pot in the middle, signal becomes zero. There are four different recording modes to choose from. In this case, I'm using manual rec mode, which means I just need to press the rec button to start recording and press again the rec button to finish recording. Once the recording is complete, as you can see, immediately the signal is playing back and the display is automatically switched to playback. You can also monitor the playback signal with the live display by going back to the display menu, press the encoder and rotate it. But let's go back to the playback display. At the top of the screen you can see this little point mark showing where the signal is playing. By rotating the encoder you can adjust the playback length. With the scan pot you can move the playback slice we just made. With the speed pot rotating clockwise, we can increase the speed by times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5. Turning the pot counterclockwise, we can decrease the speed by the same amount. Pot in the middle will be the same speed. Pressing the play button while the playback is active, you can reset the playback to the beginning of the slice. Also, you can send triggers to play input jack and sync the recorder modulation with your sequencer. In this example, Miguel Edel had arranged something more performative. Using just one simple sine wave, slice it, sending triggers to restart the playback, sending CV to scan input from the pressure points model.